Welcome to Creative Glass Guild. I'm here with Poppy from Hang Your Glass, and we're here to show you the amazing ways that you can get your glass off the table and onto the wall. Don't be limited by the size of your kiln anymore. Create one-off beautiful pieces of artwork, fix them to the wall without drilling with the amazing adhesives, and create stunning three-dimensional work. All right, well, thank you again, and thank you all for coming, and Thanks to James and Debbie and Creative Glass Guild and their whole team to bring this into the UK and make it available to all of you. Um, so first, um, Hang Your Glass is a, um, is a standoff sift system to specifically for glass artists, blow in, fuse, cast. Um, it allows you total creative freedom of your glass art to hang it at any shape and any angle. Um, so um, the idea of hanging your glass is whether you're hanging a large panel or odd shaped pieces is that there's no hardware showing. It's all tucked behind the glass art. So these are, um, these are large fused pieces. Um, they're about two feet. So believe it or not, they were actually uh, crudite, is that right? So they were meant to put vegetables in and this is like, and to me, I just saw them on the table and I said, no, those need to go up on the wall. So we put them up on the wall and we stack the glass opposed to drilling through it, um, stronger, stronger than the glass with both the adhesives, Hextall and hang your glass. And so this uh, functional, these functional dishes have now turned into sculptural wall art, which is really fun. A lot of the artists that we work with, the glass blowers, um, there's a system that we designed for them that we also use with the fused glass work, but literally you can hang this installation in less than a half an hour. Um, it's super easy. We only recommend using two adhesives, um, the hang your glass adhesive. With hang your glass adhesive, um, it's for flat surfaces. So definitely it begins to set and cure in the absence of air. So it wants flat surfaces. It has a really fast set time, five to 10 minutes, um, and it cures in 24 hours. If I'm doing something really large and heavy like this piece here, you know, I'm gonna give it a couple days. Um, the other adhesive that we just added to the line in the last year is Hextall. And we use Hextall as a gap filling, uneven textured. Um, it's optically clear, but it was designed to be put across a whole plane of glass. Um, so we use it for weight bearing situations. So we're gap filling um, in order to do that. Um, as with the hang your glass adhesive, So it wants flat surfaces. It does have a little bit of a yellow tint, but used in conjunction with the hardware, you'll notice the metal before you notice that little yellow tint. So as far as our hardware, so it's all based on non-drilling. Um, so there's several different product lines with several different lengths and diameters. So there's just briefly the locking standoffs and um, they literally lock in, so they're great for pieces less than 12 by 12 inches. This is drilled to the wall. This is permanently attached to the glass. Slips in, locks. Just like. Just like that. And obviously we used Hextall on this piece because it was uneven surface. So the round standoffs were designed for panels or uh, flat planes of glass or even, um, so this is a larger panel that would probably scare everybody to hang with adhesive. And the fun thing that I like to do, so what we did with the hang your glass standoffs is we placed them behind the blue so that they would be less no noticeable. But I always tell everyone who uses the standoffs, if you're not comfortable holding your piece of glass by the standoff, then you're not comfortable in your application. So clearly, I'm holding this piece of glass by the standoff. No problem. 
So that's the round standoffs. We're going to distribute the weight. They're also great for smaller, longer planes of glass. So they're sold in sets of four. But here we just, because this is so narrow, um, we just place them at the top and the bottom so that we get that nice equal float. So we're not worried about the weight so much because if we go back and look at it, if we know the adhesive is stronger than the glass, then next we're going to look at the bracket, then we're going to look at the faster, then we're going to look at the wall. Also too, with the rounds, probably going too long here, but you can, once you put the top bracket in, you can get any angle that you want. So the Super Duty standoffs, they were designed for pieces of glass that only have one attachment point, but um, they also are used on panels as well. You just have to, it's, it's a little bit more difficult because you're kind of where a blown piece is coming up usually, so that you're trying to look over and get it in. But if you like this look, it can be used on panels as well. And the difference between the Super Duty and the locking standoff is that there's no flex in the Super Duty in the bracket where this round can start to tilt back and flex out. So there's no flex in this bracket. So we're increasing the diameter um, for the larger and heavier pieces of glass. This here too is a good example with fused glass. And you know, we only have one point of attachment here. So this is stuck to the glass. We have the bracket on the wall and then it slips in, slips in. So this amount of torque, no problem. For more information on any of the products you've seen in this video or to make a purchase, please visit www.hangyourglassart.co.uk. If you have a piece of glass or an object you'd like to display on the wall but are confused as to which hang your glass system will be best for your art, we're here to help. Just visit the Get Started page, pop in some details and our experts will get back to you with the best product for your piece.